Everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And welcome to the fifth race and definitely, definitely not the last race. Um, in fact, let me do this here. This is called editing on the fly. <laughs> well, maybe not. I thought I could like make this. Well, maybe not. Okay. Someone said we might be seeing more of this. That's correct. You might be. Um, bad news, though, is I don't actually know how to make that go away. Oh, there I go. Whew. All right. Anyway, folks, welcome to the Marble Races, uh, the fifth weekly race. We'll be doing these weekly now. You'll see the next one next Tuesday. You have a chance to send in your marbles. We know this because we have uh, a lot. I think there are 62 registered marbles at this point in time. What is a marble race, you may wonder? What does that have to do with board games? The answer to the second question is, who cares? <laughs> the answer to the first question is, watch. Here we go. These are our jobbers. These are people who are trying to get into big leagues. Maybe someday they will. And oh, they launched already them. got one lost. Oh, that disgusts me. He's out of here. Oh, we got a log jam here, Tom. Okay, remember what I told you earlier. That's true, yeah. So we might need to adjust uh, well, that. Well, I would throw these, but I don't want to have to pick them up later. There we go. So good news, first of all. I hear the weather has cleared up. Yeah, Tom, I've been uh, in close contact with the National Weather Association. And after last week's snowstorm, we look like we've got some pretty, pretty manageable weather today. I don't anticipate we're going to have too many issues with snow. Well, like I said, folks... We have a lot of marbles in this race, and we want to give them all their fair share of spotlight. We have new marbles, so we better get started. Here are our marbles for today's race.
All righty. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of people. So folks who have, might be tuning in for the first time, uh, we always start off with our the Kudzu clan or the Kudzu brothers. Only one of them can race, but they always get the first race to see which of them it will be. So here we go. Sibling rivalry in action, folks. Take a look at this. What's interesting is they're all just called Kudzu. There's really no way to differentiate them. Only the mother marble knows. That's correct. Well, wow, oh this my. one didn't even finish. It's that's, very shameful, that's... but we'll see. So Kudzu is in the first race. And so folks who have seen it, who have not seen this before, we're going to be uh, racing here eight marbles at a time against the Brute. So we're going to be having Gangrene, Wasabi, Nova, Split Pea Stew, Ice Ice Baby, Gray Fox, Blue Meanie, and Slush Ball are all in the first race. These are all marbles who have been with us since the... Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're going to actually not be doing Slush Ball because I forgot about the... Uh, Kudzu brother. Oh, that's true. So yes. they have to survive three times. Three times against the Brute. All right. First, he will come on two seconds after they launch. Who will the Brute eliminate? One, two. Here comes the Brute. Look at that. Imposing its will on the... Oh! That was a quick... That was a very aggressive move, but look. It's taking some... Taking well, some... Well, uh... last time we saw the Kudzu brother go all yeah. the way to the finals, that is not happening today. All righty. Well... They still have to survive two more rounds. You never know. We got a one second delay on this one, Tom. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's for all the cursing. <laughs> Ready, <laughs> set, go. One. There comes the brute. Likes going down that that left pathway. Oh, 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 oh. wow! That that was that, a, that, the, the, wow, oh. that's three marbles eliminated. Gray Fox is out. Once again, we are down to just three marbles here, but Wasabi is one of the fan favorites. Mm -hmm. The Brute's not kidding around this week, Tom. Last week, I think there were some reports that the Brute was not coming out with the same intensity, and I think the Brute heard that. Well, if he did, he might not have understood it, so I explained <laughs> it to him in first grade sentences. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. This oh. is not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, we got one in. Oh, look at this. The Brute got caught. And there Little. you go. All three of them have possibly made it to the finals. Remember, mm. folks, not every marble makes it to the finals. It's an important lesson to remember, Tom. Not every marble makes it to the finals. Great That's something box. we can all take all as a right. lesson. So now we have Slush Ball and Nemo, the Electro Knight, Rise of Atlantis, Cobalt, Swirly Dervish, Buzz, and Stardust. If I remember correctly, wasn't Buzz in the finals last week too? Buzz make it made a late race push. Yes, Buzz started slow but came on strong. Hey, anyone who makes the final the final 16, they're all winners. That's true. Tom. That's not true. But ready? One, two. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> sorry, Slush Ball. You're not going <laughs> slush anywhere, Slush Ball. Straight up by default. You're melted. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this. You I'll know what? You, you can't even give the brute credit for that one. No. Slush ball just straight up out. That's that's you know, it's all I, I really just it irritates me when these kids don't try. It's it is shameful, Tom. It's not a good representation of their fighting spirit. Ready. Right. One. Oh, one. Yeah, no, I'm, one of these days I need enough. to remember that. Close enough. I think the Brute is taking it easy on everybody. I'm telling you, the Brute doesn't seem to have the same stamina that it did oh, before. Oh, oh, for a moment there, I thought Buzz was in trouble. That's true. Could everyone make it this time? It could. The Brute came out strong, but I just don't know that it has the staying power. Yeah, but here he launches at the same time as everybody else. Ready, go. And here we go. Brute came out fast, but oh, I don't know. Oh, that was an aggressive move. And, oh! Yeah, oh, we're definitely losing out some here. What? This wow, is this is I've never trying that before. That, that's just that just saddens me. All right, so four more marbles, including Buzz, have possibly made the finals. That's seven. We can only have sixteen, and there's still quite a few marbles. So we may have to have runoffs here at the end. All right, we have now Dead Spring, Megalodons, Cat's Eye, Fiesta Fajita, Pretender, Electron High. Unicorn Dream and, oh, Root Beer Float. Now, Unicorn Dream and Root Beer Float, they're actually uh, being put in farthest things because we feel like Unicorn Dream has been a, a bad influence yeah, on Root Beer Float. That's true. Unicorn Dream has definitely not done well for Root Beer Float. 
One, two. Here we go. Oh, we oh, already wow. have one. Another self-elimination. This is the worst time to do that. It really is. And that, that spot seems to get more of our competitors than anybody else. Now well, they're out. So much for whatever one that was. <laughs> All right. Well, there's still seven marbles, though. Yep. We got to keep uh, keep this moving. We got a one second delay here. Ready. One. Here we go. Oh wow! wow. Fiesta, Fiesta Fajita just went storming. I, got, I, got, I feel like I want Fiesta Fajita to do so well. Oh. Second place. That's not bad. Oh, look at that! That was <laughs> did, an aggressive move. Did you see the brute slide in there? And sure weirdly did. enough, even though we we mocked them, both both unicorn it, dreams. And uh, root beer float. Yeah, but here's the thing. That is only the one second. And Fiesta Fajita. Look, we've got a powerhouse group here, Tom. This uh, is a powerhouse All three of these group. marbles were in our championship last round. They were. Here we go. Oh, look at that. The brood is coming out strong. Can Fiesta Fajita... Oh, the root beer float Whoa, got stuck. Oh, the root beer float. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think it... Oh, it's only Unicorn Dream, Tom. Wow, what that was... A, what an amazing outcome. This the, No one saw that coming. Well, there are some people talking that... That root beer float may have thrown that race. You think? Wow! I, I would really hope that doesn't happen. That, look, we can't have that type of think on the on the marble racing circuit, Tom. That cannot be. That can't be stood for. That's... We now have clown. I have the pharaoh. Mars rover. Now Mars rover is the first of ours to have a manager marble. Oh! Uh, and he is shouting out a lot of rude stuff. Uh, wasp, snake eyes, green fiesta, fissure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And not a cheetah, who we really feel, I feel like they might be protesting too much. Yeah. We, so we've got some new competitors here, Tom. And this first manager, are, are we comfortable with their placement? Are they close well, enough? Or, we uh, let the manager race. And this is a kind of approximation of what happened. Um, they, they actually can make it through many of the obstacles, oh, and yeah. then they yeah. give up. Yeah. Uh, they Back in their prime, but a lot of eating uh, burritos <laughs> changes. Yeah. Changes how that works. Too many Taco Tuesdays, Tom. <laughs> Ready. One, two. Here we go. Let's see how our new competitors come through. They're, they're making a pretty good Now, Fisher is the oldest marble in our race. So easily cracked. But look at that. Everyone. Wow, everyone. Everyone it. got through. So their, their unfamiliarity with the track didn't seem to cause them any issues here, Tom. No, no that happens sometimes. Some of these people are from uh, tracks from out of state. And yeah. One. Here we go. The brute coming out with a little bit more intensity this time. But I tell you, these new racers are are making a good name for themselves. Although some oh, of them are. Oh, oh my. wow, man! There goes Eye of the Pharaoh and oh Mars Rover. The manager is really angry. He'll be yelling at Mars Rover. Well, I think they're they're ready to go get a burrito, Tom. They'll console themselves over a lovely burrito. That is actually a benefit to losing here. All our losers get a free burrito sponsored by Taco Bell. Ready. Oh, wait, is this no one delay. or zero? I think that was our one second delay there. Here, right, we, here go. we go. Coming from a... Oh, my. That was a really fast opening move oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, clown. <laughs> once again, Tom. Clown. Will clown ever make it? I'm so sad. Poor clown. clown. You know. Clown does not have the corporate sponsorship that a lot of these marbles do. A lot of people, I don't know, just doesn't Clown seem fair to me. Clown just has spunk and very large shoes, but no All right. sponsorship. Now we have the Upside Down, Crystal Ball, the Patriot, the Loch Ness Monster, the only marble that's almost as big as the Brute, Wrecking mm. Ball, League of Sprites, the Eye of the Storm, and Flaming Hot. All right, a couple that got through to the finals last week, Tom. Huh, that's hate. true. Well, we are almost up to 16 marbles in this race already. So, unfortunately, some of these marbles are going to have to be cut. But we'll worry about that later. One, two. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, the Brute was coming wow, out strong. Wow, trying to eliminate. He heard me. He's yeah. trying to help me out by eliminating a bunch of marbles. Yeah. And oh. oh, right. And that's four marbles yeah. straight out. Eye of the Storm and Flaming Hot amongst them. Yeah, there's some big names went out there, Tom. Well, that's how that works. All righty. One second delay here. Ready. One. Oh, pushed them forward there, actually. The Brute thought, oh. I don't think the Patriot is no. going to be. Oh, 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 oh. The Patriot slid in there. Oh, look at that. We all got through. That they was all close. didn't make it. Well, right. there you go. That shows what it's like to be patriotic. We asked the Patriot what he liked best about his country, and his answer was so vague, I'm not sure if it's France or America. <laughs> it's one of those two countries. Huh. He's red, white, and blue. Right. And he said his favorite food was French fries and snails. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, oh, well, anyway, here yeah, we go. Yeah, that's, that's confusing. Here we go. 
Coming from the same timeline, no benefit to the brute. Oh, wow. Loch Ness oh, Monster. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's a huge result here. So only the Loch Ness Monster has made it through to the final round. <laughs> well, that's better than last time. All right. So now we have True Love. Montana Marble. You know, interestingly enough, Pretty Pretty Princess, True Love is still single. Molten Lava. Hmm. Geiger. Here, hold Geiger for a second. Yeah. I'm going to show you something about Geiger. Uh, it's five. Butterball, six. Drink your Ovaltine. Seven, oily to rise, and Istanbul. Um, I think it's only to rise. Oily to it's rise. Oily to rise? Oh, you were uh, right. Oily to rise. So this marble is made of Vaseline glass and is slightly radioactive. Is that's that why right? I had you hold it. Oh, that's fantastic, Tom. Thanks. I can feel the tingling in my hands. How long does that last? I heard it's very, very light. Okay. Oh, um, actually, oily to rise will be in our next race. All right. Um, that's not oily to rise. Sorry, that's oily to rise. Um, Istanbul. No. no. Istanbul will be in our next race. Sorry. All right. All right, here we go. Two Many of these away. new racers. Here we go. One, two. Oh, oh we've already lost one time. Drink your Oval Team, which was named after Time Stories, has been eliminated. <laughs> and I can't say I'm super sad about that. Oh, my. And everyone else got through, Tom. No, uh, yeah, they were lost in the uh, pit of death up that's there. That's true. That's true. Well, that just goes to show you. To drink your oval team, I guess. I, I don't know I, if I've ever had oval team. I have, Tom. It's nothing to write home about. I, I don't uh, write home anyway. So, <laughs> ready? One second. One. Oh my! Oh, pretty, pretty princess is not looking good. No, no, that's not a good sign. Oh, not what, a good wow! Sign. Most oh. of them have made it. Wow, they all got through except except for uh, whatever marble this one was. <laughs> Sorry, names aren't important when you lose. That's no one true. remembers fifth place in the no. Olympics. That's no, what I heard. No, no. This is uh, straight up now, right? That's right, straight up, and they're off. I'm kind of rooting for Butterball here. Oh yeah, Butterball's a new. But contender. Butterball's not doing very not well. Not looking very good. Oh, but, but wait, 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 wait! Butterball's wait. no turkey. It's gonna make it through. Oh, oh they all made through except, except for Pretty Pretty Princess. Ah, mm, what do you do? Wow, that's, that's so a lot of marbles today. that made it through. I'm yeah. I'm very I'm very happy about that. Um, all right, so now we have Istanbul. Do you know that Istanbul was once called Constantinople? I've heard that somewhere. Why Tom. they changed it, I can't say. Ocean Waves, Dairy Queen, Red Sonia, Force Field, Mint Chocolate Chip, Cupcake, one of my personal favorites, and, oh, that's it. That's it. All okay. right. Now, does Force Field have an actual Force Field? Is it going to be able to, no, is that going to affect the race? But he he claims that someday he will. He can see the future. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we We're can't have another one. marble. Sorry. Uh, that would be, oh, the Goblin King. Ah. A lot of people like the Goblin King. Goblin King came in just at the last second to make it in. One, two. two. Here we go. Oh, uh, I just saw the Goblin King get clocked. Yeah, it sure did. But Goblin King has still been able to keep Do its composure. you know we have almost never seen the Brute fall one of these? That's true. I don't That's think we have. That's an example I think these other marbles could follow. They really could, yeah. Well, everyone made it, so I don't know what I'm saying anyway. Brute didn't uh, really give him much of an example there. And one second. Here we go. One. All right. Oh, Brute came out really fast there, but it's... Dilly dallying around over the top there. Come on, cupcake. I think. Oh, <laughs> that was an aggressive move by the brute. Took out four. Cupcake, Istanbul, mint chocolate chip, Goblin King. Wow, all some heavy hitters gone. there are all out of the race, Tom. Oh, well, <sighs> the brute came to play on that race. Let's see if it was saving itself for these last races. Maybe. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. Are we going to have anyone make it through? Force field, my eyeball. Oh, that's right. Wow! Oh, force field. That was so close. Oh, man. Sweat is pouring off my face after that one. That force field is the only person to make it through in that round. Wow. That was a very, very devastating heat. All righty. Now group. we have the speckled knight of Teen Pollen, Moonstruck, and Travel Buddy. That's it. Just four marbles. All right. Well, we're going to have a more open field here. Let's see how that affects Ready? the race. One, two. Here we go. So far, oh, he jumped over the rope. Oh my goodness, now that was incredible. Oh, wow. Wow, the speckled knight of Teton snuck in there Snuck somehow. in there at the end. That, was, that an was an elimination maneuver. for two of them. Now, 
Now that the first two seconds is over, we will bring in our former champions who only have to come in after one second. All right. Strawberry Shortcake, Terrapin Titan, Yellow Days, and Florida Weather, all, all right. former champions. This is this is heavy hitter. We have yet Tom. to have someone repeat. Oh, that's that's an interesting idea. One. See. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, my. Terrapin Titan just flying down the track, but well, getting, getting, oh, that was close. All right. Well, unfortunately, we lost two, Tom. We did lose two. Uh, Moonstruck and Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, my goodness. Well, former champions no more. Well, they'll always be former champions, but not they'll today. They'll be champions in my heart. All right. Here we go. Here I we still go. love Florida weather. Oh, my. Wow. They, I, may, the brute, they make it the brute, like giving brute them didn't some even show up here. here. Can Terrapin Titan make it through? Yes, he can. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Well, that's the end of the Brutes involvement here. We'll let him have a victory lap while we count how many marbles we have. The Brute always seems to want to get caught up right there. All right. In there. There he is. We have enjoy two. Your, enjoy your victory. Four. We have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. So at 23, we can only have 16, so we need to eliminate seven. So uh, we're going to run them in heats of eight, eight, and seven. And uh, we will, in this race, the, I'll eliminate, I'm gonna eliminate the bottom one. Okay. Okay, just the, just the bottom, no, the bottom two. We'll eliminate the bottom two. All right. Okay, here we go. The bottom two are out of the finals. Here we go, who's, Got the heart. Who's got the spunk? Who's got the want it? Who's to got make the it beat? Oh, well, I'm not. Oh. oh. Oh, man. You know what? This is the second time Unicorn Dreams has corrupted someone, and yeah. Wasabi is out now. And Unicorn Dreams. Yep, yep. All right, all right. Well, that was race one. Race two. Here we go. Here we go. The buzz is palpable in the crowd, Tom. You can hear the screaming, cheering. There's Terrapin Titan making it to the finals. Oh, Unfortunately, my. not as good. Wasp and not a cheetah are both out. Two new marbles, but maybe they'll make it in next time. Two superhero villains, Tom. Wasp is not a, a villain. Two, one superhero villain and a, and a <laughs> hero, Tom. All right, the bottom two, four, six, seven. The bottom two still, even though there's only seven, that's just how it worked out. Here we go. Oh, my. I think Buzz might not be in, Tom. I think Buzz is out. Oh, that's sad. Buzz and the Speckled Knight of Teton. I think it's the Speckled Knight of Teton. Uh, are both out. So now we have five, six, and six. That's 17. Unfortunately, there can only, I need to drop we, one we more. We need to drop one. So it's going to be the last person in this race. Here we go. This is a, a all in. And whoever wants it more, Tom, is going to be the one who gets it. Uh, butter, butter balls on the edge here. Here we go. Go! Oh, oh my! Butterball would not take that denying. And oh my! Just an aggressive move. Butterball's gonna make it in. Who's not? Oh, it's not looking good for um. Molten lava is out of the race. All right, Mike. We have our 16. Are you All ready? Right. Well, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be, Tom. I'm we standing have over here. Former about champion, Yellow Days. We have True Love. We have, I believe, Rise of Atlantis. We have, is that this one? Ice, ice, no? It's Ice, Ice Baby. We have the Terrapin Titan. We have, I believe that's this one here, Kobold. We have Butterball. A new racer. Yeah, we do. We have this one. I can never remember this one's name. I think it's Eye of the Storm. Oh, it's Mon oh, Montana. Montana Marvel. Montana Marvel. And I think this is Oily to Rise. Oily to Rise. Although Oily to Rise is going to get me messed up with... Is this Snake Eyes? Yeah, hang on. I need to take a look at these because these two okay. marbles are so similar. Has to be practically identical. <laughs> we may have to get dental records, Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna have to mark one of them each time with a. Where's that marker I have? <laughs> um, oh, I don't see a marker. 
Hmm. <laughs> well, we're going to think about how we're going to differentiate between the two of those in a second. Florida weather is in the race, as is uh, this is one of the earliest ones. I, uh, uh, well, we'll look for that one second. Oh, and Fissure made the race. Fissure, okay. Uh, Blue Meanie. Blue Meanie. And the Loch Ness Monster. Then we have Force Field. And Nemo, I believe. All right. And then you did, you got all 16 then? Well, no, no. I've only got 14 here, Tom. Did you write Snake Eyes and Oily to Rise? I wrote Oily to Rise. I did not write Snake Eyes. Oh, great. So now I have to go through all the names again. <laughs> I can, do you want, would it go be ahead easy? and read them all. Okay. Yellow Days. Got it. True Love. Indeed. Rise of Atlantis. Yes. Ice Ice Baby. And for sure. For sure. Terrapin. Uh huh. Cobalt. Yep. Butterball. Yes. Montana Marble. Yes. Oily to Rise. You missed Florida Weather. No, it's after Florida. Florida Weather's after. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oil uh, to Rise. Florida Weather. Yep. Fissure. Yep. Blue Meanie. Yes. Loch Ness. Yes. Force Field. Yes. Nemo. Yes. Snake Eyes. Is that 16? Oh, there's only 16. I just added that extra line. Tom, you, <laughs> you cannot confuse your color commentator like that. Okay, we're I, good. I can and I shall. All right, we're going to put a dot here. <laughs> I, I don't know if this will work. Can I see that? All right, the marked one is oily to rise. <laughs> All right. Nothing can go wrong here, Tom. This is going to be a flawless plan. I feel very comfortable in this. <laughs> Okay, so folks, we have 15 races. First place, 10 points. Second place, 7. Third place, 5. Fourth, 5th, and 6th are 3, 2, and 1. It's time to get some points. Here we go. Let's go! Oh, my. They're coming out strong. Without the presence of the Brute, everyone is just able to go at it with all of them. Why is Florida weather not even trying? It's a minus one point for Florida minus weather. Minus one for Florida weather. All right. In first place, Rise of Atlantis. My goodness. Okay. Second place, Montana Marvel. Okay. Third place, Cobalt. Fourth place, the Blue Meanie. Fifth place, Yellow Days. And sixth place, Terrapin Titan. All right. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's, I'm, 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 I'm very intrigued to see three former champions in this race. Yeah, that's the. That's Although Florida weather ain't doing so hot, but that's just how it works. Well, Florida weather is unpredictable, Tom. <laughs> that's that's what I heard. <laughs> but can be very dangerous. It can be dangerous. Wow, I even put these in the same one. It looks like all that <laughs> black I put on it. Uh, you know what? One is slightly bigger than the other. That's the oily one. That's how I'm going to remember it. Oily is the bigger oily one. Oily is bigger because okay, Tom. it's big oil. Sure. Ready? Also, it's a bad pun. That's ready? <laughs> race two. Go! People have already got their asterisks ready with these two in the race. Wow, Yellow Days wow. wants their championship back. That's first place for Yellow Days. First place for Yellow Days. Okay. Second for the Loch Ness Monster. Second for Loch Ness. Third for uh, the Florida Weather. Third. Okay, I see Florida Weather. Fourth came for there. Montana Marvel. Fourth for Montana Marvel. Five for Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby. And Force Field comes in with sixth place. All right. But wait, there's more. All yes. right. As this is your official silly race, I, with great trepidation <laughs> and bad playtesting, uh -huh. the, the crowd gets to shoot silly string into the arena. Oh, my goodness, Tom. That worked out fantastically. Look at well, that. Well, yeah, but there's two spots. There are. minor spots, and we know how dangerous they are. We do. Thanks to our playtesting. Also, apparently, I'm getting it all over the room. All right, getting here we go. Getting it all over the electronics. Race what three. Could possibly Those go two wrong? spots will probably not do anything. Here no. we go. Oh, got crushed. Oh, we did lose one time in the pit of death. We lost one. All right, Fissure gets a minus one point. Fissure minus one. And then first place here, Montana Marvel again. Montana Marvel has placed in all three races, Tom. And second, Ice Ice Baby. Okay. Third place, Butterball. All right. Fourth place, Nemo. Fifth place, Yellow Days. And sixth place, the Loch Ness Monster. I tell you, we're hearing the same names over and over, Tom. I have noticed that a few marbles, such as True Love, haven't even got on the board. That is correct. We've got, uh, let's see, one... Two, three marbles that have not placed. Well, one is placed, but with a negative one. So I don't know if you'd count that. I do not count that. All right, so we will be, be uh, giving our totals at the end of race five. Correct. 
We're All right, on let's race try. four right now. Let's try this again. Here we go. Oh! Okay. Well, that actually could be deadly. That could be. Not looking good for the marbles over here. No, it is not. Go! Here we go. Let's see how this affects things. Oh! Wow, it did slow oh, Yellow Days down. It for did. Sure. It gave it a bit of a detour kind of a situation here. Wow. All right, hang on. I need to compare the size of this marble to this one. <laughs> That was Oily, who gets a minus one point. O oily to rise for minus one. Okay. Ice Ice Baby came in first that time. All right. Followed by Atlantis Rising. Third place, again, Montana Marvel. My goodness. Fourth place, Florida Weather. Okay. Fifth place, Cobalt. And sixth place, Butterbeer. Butterbeer, huh? I am not sure why True Love came today. <laughs> True Love dies today, Tom. <laughs> Ba -na -ba -na. That's the new James Bond movie. <laughs> True love dies today. The James Marble. All right. All right. Let's try this again. Here we go. Race five. Okay, that didn't count. Some of it has hit the board. Okay. Wow. Let's try it again. Oh, the camera. <laughs> the camera. Sorry. I don't know if the camera's ever going to make it back from that time. Oh, my goodness. I cannot hit the board. Tom, you're impeccable at this. There we go. Oh, that's really bad. That's going to actually stop marbles. That will stop marbles. I apologize to all the marbles who are about to get lose a point. Yeah, this is not going to be good, go. Tom. Here we go. Oh, my. Already caught in the web. Oh, only one. Only one, but we only did one. lose oh, two. Oh, wow. True love is not even trying at this no point. No one's finished. Oh, that was an interesting ending All right, there. so that's a minus point for, I can't remember the name of this marble. I'm so sorry, marble person. <laughs> is it Blue Meanie? A Blue Meanie. Minus that's one Jimmy's for Blue Meanie. You think I remember that. <laughs> True love. Minus one for true love. And Atlantis rising. Minus one for rise of Atlantis. And also. Oh, right. and yes, Terrapin Titan didn't bother finishing wow. either. Wow. Okay. Now, first place is the Loch Ness Monster. Okay. First place for Loch Ness. Second place, Butterball. Second place for Butterball. It was Butterbeer last race, but okay. It is Butterball, actually. <laughs> right. Third place is Fissure. Third place is Fissure. Okay. Fourth place, Montana Marvel. All right. Fifth place. Hang on. I need to check and compare. <laughs> Oily to rise. All right. And sixth place is Force Field. All right. So give me a moment to. Why you doing that? We're going to clear the court from previous silly string things. Huh. Well, it's not as bad as the snowstorm from last time. But I've heard that the people who come up with these ideas are morons. Well, their Florida weather just went under the under the table. There we go. Thank you. By the way, a big thanks to our marble stable director, Holly, who makes sure all the marbles are in the right places. All right, take a look at the comments. Hello, everybody who's watching. Nessie is a cheater. Oh. Nessie has an advantage due to size, not being stuck by silly string or snow. Hey, that's how it works, but sometimes size will stop you in this game. All right, Mike, give it to us. Does anyone with a negative score? Uh, we don't have anyone with a negative score, well, actually, positive. Do we have anyone with zeros? We do. We have three racers with zeros. So I know one's true love. One is true love. True love is zero. The Terrapin. Oh, our winner from the our last race. Our winner from last was zero. And very, very uh, thematically correct, Snake Eyes <laughs> has zero. All right. Time. Well, you never know with Snake Eyes. You might come back. All right. Who is in the lead now? Who is in the lead with a commanding lead the montana marvel with 28 points Tom. that is a good good lead there Th yep. that really is and in second place we've got ice ice baby with 19 then we've got loch ness monster with 18 rise of atlantis with 13 yellow days with 13 and butterball also has 13 and then uh, a whole lot of other racers that are in the single digits nah, i don't even care about that yeah, all right here we go this is count. race number six race six tom here we go Coming out strong. Well, not true love. No, true, <laughs> true love is oh, just. Oh, Force Field loses a point. Force Field loses a oh, point. So does true a, love. Look, look. This is starting to remind me of college. <laughs> true love. Did not. All right, here we go. Hang on, I need to compare marble size. No, oh, I, I do goodness. need to compare marble size. Ooh, it's the other one. Okay. Oh, the other one first. Okay. That's uh, Snake Eyes, right? All right, so first, Montana Marvel, who My is intent goodness. on winning this. Just dominating. Loch Ness Monster, though, in second. Loch Ness bad. Monster, okay. Nemo in third. Nemo in third, yes. Snake Eyes with fourth place. Okay, okay. Cobalt with fifth place. And Fissure, who is 87 marble years old today in My sixth. My goodness, okay. You can tell by counting the rings. 
Uh, actually, we count the cracks. Oh, what's Dracula interesting Fisher, about Fissure yeah. is Fissure actually has Fissure Junior, Fissure the first, and Fissure the fourth in backup waiting for when he breaks, not wow. if. Okay. When? That's what I heard. It's it's all a matter of time, Tom. Well, there are some people rumoring that when he was thrown against the wall the other day, that was a hit put out by the kids. But oh my goodness! There's no proof on that. I'd heard uh, some. I'd heard some crazy glue rumors, but I didn't want to substantiate that. All right, here, here we go. go. Oh, oh, Tom, that's going to cause some that's, havoc. That's really deadly. That's going to cause some real havoc here we on go. this race. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We have a, I've never seen anything like this, Tom. We have, may have what nobody finished. What is going finished. on? It's not even a silly. Wow. Wow. We had six finishing racers. All right, this folks, is the amazing. rules are, the rules are, if four marbles finish, the race counts. Now, we were expecting some people to get caught in the silly string, not Montana marbles. So, you have a lot of negative points to get out here. I do. Okay, so, let's, so let's go. Yellow Days. Yellow Days has a negative point. As does Florida Weather. Oh, good news. Oily to Rise and Snake Eyes were both Oily in that Oily to group. Rise and Snake Eyes both negative and one. And Butterball. Butterball. Wow. Some big racers went out on this one. Um, True Love. True Love, yes. And Cobalt. And Cobalt. Wow. Now, these three do not get negatives against them because they were stopped by Terrain, and that doesn't ah. cause a negative point. doesn't let you win, though. No. Okay. All right. First place, Loch Ness Monster just Ooh, smashed their okay, way in. Okay. Okay. Second place, Ice Ice Baby. Second place, Ice Ice Baby. Third place, Atlantis Rising. Got it. Fourth place, Force Field. Fifth place, Blue Meanie. And sixth place, Force. Okay, well, sorry. Fourth place was for, Force Field. Fifth place, Blue Meanie. Okay. And sixth place, Fissure. Got it. All right. All righty. Wow. That race was tough, Tom. That was hard to watch. What's Honestly, interesting, though, what's watch. interesting is the traffic champ, they were so intimidated that they gave up early in the race. They that's, did. That's letting your fears they get, did. In, they, they, get, they, it, they, get the best of it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I shouldn't be spraying it at my daughter, apparently. Oh! All right, All right. That, that's good. That's good. A little bit of, of terrain there. Oh, there's terrain, Tom. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a lot of people looking like they're going to get caught. Will we have a race, Tom? <laughs> will we have a race? I think we will. We'll just have barely a race. A lot of zero Woo! points, Tom, here. A lot no, of zero yeah, points. Yeah, there's no, again, no negative because it was all done by terrain there. But six marbles made it through. And Ice Ice Baby in first place. Ice Ice Baby with first place points. Atlantis Rising in second. Montana Marvel back in third. Nemo with fourth. Florida Weather with fifth, and Cobalt went in sixth place. All right, gonna have to give me a moment to count up our totals here. Oh, oh, is this I, another sub -total No, I time? think I made a mis I made a mistake. I, I'll, have you, to, I'll, I'll add them you here. You've done that two times in a row, Tom. Now. I'm telling right. you, this the 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 paperwork you've got here in front of me is just intimidating beyond all measure. So you did not know this was part of the uh, job. When I tell you what, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that silly string is so deadly, we're not adding any for this next race as unanimous. I pulled all the head judges. Here we go. All right. Oh. Wow, you see those little chunks? We're Look true. at that. Terrapin oh. Titan. And for all oh my oh, word. Oh, wow. Look at this. We are going to get six, but even True Love made it through. Didn't get any points, but made it through. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, actually, so minus one point for Loch Ness Monster. Okay, give, give me one second. Okay, so minus one for Loch Ness. Okay. That's it. They're the only one. Everyone okay. else is getting zero. Okay. First place, Yellow Days with 10. Okay. Second place, Fissure came out of nowhere, finally. Third place. Fissure, Gus, okay. Butterbeer, Butterball. Third place is Butterball. You think Ball. I would know the name but eventually. Fourth place, Atlantis Rising. Okay, fourth place, Atlantis Rising, got it. And uh, fifth place, oh, hang on. <laughs> fifth place, Snake Eyes. Ah. And sixth place, Cobalt. All right, so now I'm going to have to add these Now we're going to do that. Meanwhile, we're going to clean up this track a little bit, but you never know what will happen next. Even people in the stands are a little afraid of the, uh, <laughs> the silly string debacle. Folks, you'll tell how successful something is by how often it shows back up in races. Anyone want to buy some fake snow? All right, let's, let's say hi to the comments again. I always wonder what silly string was for. You're right. This is the best use of silly string I've ever seen. Alrighty, canned air wind gusts. Oh, that's true. Mm. That is tempting. That's tempting. Well, next week it will be exciting, folks. Is our pre-Kickstarter launch race. 
All right, so we have a Kickstarter that will be launching next week at noon, and we're actually going to be running next week's race slightly earlier at 9 a.m., just because we would like to be prepared for the Kickstarter when it launches. Okay, I think we've got our totals here, Tom. Do we have anyone with zero still? We do. We actually have one in a negative score, Tom. Who's the negative? True Love. <laughs> minus one. All right, I shouldn't laugh because True Love is probably someone's, I think it's mine actually, but okay, go ahead. And we also have Terrapin still with zero points. Wow, what happened to him? I don't know. And Oily to Rise now has lost the point they had, and so they're at zero. So... We have the same leader, but it's getting tighter, Tom. Montana Marble is still in the lead with 43 points, but coming up very close is Ice Ice Baby with 36 points. And right behind that is Loch Ness Monster with 34. All righty, that's, that is some close racing here. All right, what race number are we on? We're on 10. All right, folks, remember these next three, these next four races are very important because after these four races, we will eliminate the bottom eight. And the final two races will be only eight marbles. Here we go. A nice, clean track. Don't say I didn't ever do anything for you, marbles. Here we go. Oh, true love. Just at this point, <laughs> I think we can just if say If you put that, money on true love, you right. need to be leaving now because the mafia is coming for you. Yeah, it's not That's looking good. That's minus one for true love. All right. Wow. Force Field comes in first Force there. Force Field. Now, that's that's an interesting uh, Atlantis result Atlantis Rising, who I know is in near the top in the rankings mm -hmm. or closest. Yes, very close. Then Yellow Days. Yellow Days. Interesting. Hang on. I need to do some comparison of size. <laughs> Snake Eyes comes in fourth. Snake Eyes is fourth. Nemo in fifth. Okay. And Blue Meanie in sixth. Mm, all wow, right. a lot of the favorites did not do yeah, well in that particular this... race. We're seeing what we... we this is I, where you need your second win. That's you, right. This is, a, this is a marathon. This ain't a sprint. <laughs> this is not a sprint. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's no, still, no, we're oh, not going my. yet. <laughs> here we go. That, that's not enough for a final race. Okay, oh. hang on one more time. There, oh, now that'll Ooh, be interesting. I'm Tom. really scared about that. That'll one. be interesting. Here I'm we not go. sure how this is going to make things play out. Here we go. Oh, wow. Cobalt. Cobalt. One, minus one right out the gate. Minus one for Cobalt. Oh, wow. Look at that. Last oh! they're, just, they're just rolling over that. They wow. do not care. Oh, and Force Field gets a minus one. Force Field with a minus one. They. Man, Atlantis Rising won at that race. They did. Uh, no, too late, Force Field. Yeah, you're not getting there. <laughs> um, so, 10 points for Atlantis Rising. Second place, Ice Ice Baby. Mm. Third place, Nemo. Fourth place, The Blue Meanie. Fifth place, Yellow Days. And sixth place, Fissure. Mm -hmm. All right. That's another time Montana Marvel and Loch Ness did not score. Yeah, they're they're determined to make a race out of this. I mean, this is well. I uh, think they're doing it in fairness for the the crowd. I think it's yeah. It's they they've got the spirit of competition. They really want to keep this a tight race. We don't really like to see blowouts. Who likes to see that? No. These that being are said, nothing if not competitors, Tom. Oh, oh no! Now this is beyond the pale. Yeah, I actually think we're gonna let this run and see what happens. But we, we may, may have to rerun race. this race. We may not. We'll have find a race out. Here, here we go. What race is this? This 11? is race number twelve. Twelve. Here we go. Let's see if this actually happens, folks. Oh, oh my! Oh no! Oh. One more? We got, is it four or That's six? four. Four wow. is the rule. Wow. Now, we only lose one point here. For long as mine. Now, here's where we feel bad. For once, Terrapin Titan <laughs> was in the lead. <laughs> yeah. And just got destroyed. All right. First place, Florida Weather. With first place, Florida Weather. Ten. Okay. Second place, Butterball. Unbelievably, third place, True Love. Wow. And then Montana Marvel. And then Montana Marvel. Okay. Wow. That was a race, Tom. That was, uh, I, I kind of saw something like that coming. Race number 13. So after this race, we are going to, I'm sorry, I have to look over your shoulder at your That's score fine. pad because there's some proof that you sometimes make mistakes. <laughs> sometimes, right. Tom, but I, I believe it or not, I'm putting much more effort in this than you really should. <laughs> and this is it. After this race, the bottom eight will be eliminated. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. All right. Oh, now, we lost Nemo one. Nemo has lost a point. Nemo has lost a point. So far, just Nemo. Loch Ness Monster got stopped, but oh. that was... Oh! Nemo thinks they're trying to get back into it, but... We're going to let Loch Ness oh, Monster no, run here. I don't going. even know what the point is. They just don't lose it. They were stopped by terrain anyway. Okay, yep, whatever. Yep. Okay. All right, so only Nemo's the only person who lost a point. First place, Ice Ice Baby. 
Oh my, okay. Second place, hang on. Snake Eyes. Second place is Snake Eyes, okay. Third place, Force Field. Okay. Fourth place, Blue Meanie. Fifth okay. place, True Love. Mm. And sixth place, Florida Weather. All right. I can't even imagine who's going to be eliminated here because there's so much. there was so much difference between those five races. So while Mike is adding that, and we're going to have to have some sad eliminations, he's going to actually go in order and tell us who's in the race first so that right. we can, you know, the people who are being eliminated, we want to make their pain as much as we can. Because that's what they do in reality shows, right? They don't tell someone they're eliminated that's right away. That's correct. They make you stand on the platform for a really long time. That is true. Now, for the final races, the silly string will be gone because we don't want anyone to complain about the weather conditions for the final thing. Almost there. All right. All right, let's start with the people who are in the race. So who's in the lead position right now? In the lead position, we have a new leader, Tom. I'm going to guess it is Ice Ice Baby. That is correct with 53 points. Woof. All right, second. Second place, we've got, uh, I almost said true love, Rise of Atlantis with 48 points. All right, all right. Third place, Montana Marvel with 46. Wow, from first to third. Yep. But still in the finals. Yep. And then next, we have um, Loch Ness with 33. Okay. Sometimes size matters. That's correct. Then we've got Yellow Days with 28. Our only former champion still in this race. Uh, a new racer, Tom, Butterball with 24. All right. I do like Butterball. Uh, let's see here. We're getting into some closes. Now we've got Florida Weather with 19. Another former champion. Force Field with 18. Well, that's it, unfortunately. Oh, my. So one point out was Nemo. Nemo had 17. Okay, so Nemo has been eliminated. Uh, where is the uh, uh, Nemo has been eliminated? And then... Then after that, we have uh, Snake Eyes with 14 and Fissure also with 14. All right, so Fissure. Let me compare these two. Snake Eyes. All right. And then uh, Blue Meanie with 11. Okay. Then we have Cobalt with 9. You know, Cobalt placed a lot, but they just didn't place high enough. That's correct. And True Love is not in last place, Tom. True Love has seven points. All right. Yay, True Love. And then we had two that sadly ended with zeros. And one of them is a shocking, uh, Oily to Rise with, with, with zero. Um, but shockingly, Terrapin, yeah. zero points. All right, folks, we have two races, but, but the final race is double points, which could change everything. All right. Second last race. Here we go. The racers are ready. The gates are open. I don't even know what I'm saying. Go! <laughs> and they're off. Here we go. You can feel the tension here. The racers are trying to just... Be oh, oh, that was field. an aggressive Force move. Forcefield wanted this. Okay, this is interesting. So Forcefield comes in first place. Okay. Florida Weather right behind him. And then our leader... Florida Ice, Weather, okay. Ice Ice Baby coming in third. Okay. Yellow Days in fourth. Montana Marble in fifth. And Atlantis rising in sixth. Wow. I feel okay. like that seals the fate for Butterball, unfortunately. But this is double points. This so you is could double get 20 points. 20 points here. 20 points could be For being in first. That is a big deal. It's like winning two races, says Captain Obvious. <laughs> All right. The final race. Here we go. You can feel the tension. You can cut it with a knife. Ready? Not a marble, though. You can cut go. a butterball with a knife, too, I've heard, oh, Tom. Oh! He wants it. Oh! He wants it. oh, that was an aggressive butterball jumping move. Me. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, Florida, Florida weather. Oh no! This will be incredibly interesting. Florida weather in first place okay. with twenty points. So twenty points for Florida weather. Okay. Second place, Ice Ice Baby with fourteen. Ice That's Ice, pretty Ice good. Baby with fourteen. Force Field in third place with ten. Montana Marvel in fourth place with six. Butterball in fifth place with four, and Yellow Days gets two. All right, so you're gonna have to give me a moment here, Tom. I might have We're to break out the abacus. Meanwhile, we're going to let these marbles roll down in reverse order, letting the winner go first. All righty. Do we have a repeat winner or a new winner? We're about to find out. I'm so excited that I'm going to shoot some silly string. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am going to shoot some silly string. Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry. It only got in part of your hair. 
It's pink. Your hair's red. You feel like it should be. All right, Tom. I think we've got our finals. All right, let's start with eighth place. Eighth place, we've got Butterball. With... Now, remember Butterball. Yeah, that's eight out of 52. Oh, no, Nothing to what be ashamed of. One, two, three, four. Wait, I only, wait, wait. Eighth place? But I only had one, two, three. Maybe you didn't write the scores down for the people who got zeros. I Well, I didn't. But All right, so let me read them through. You got Florida weather. Yeah. Uh, Florida weather has. Yeah, okay, don't, don't read that. Okay. Yellow days. Mm -hmm. Montana marble. Yeah. Atlanta's rising. Yeah. Oh, oh, right here. There's one. Okay. Butterball. Yep. Ice Ice Baby. Yep. Force Field. Yep. And Loch Ness Monster. Oh, Loch Ness had zero. Okay, got it. Okay. So. Got it. Sorry about that. All right, all right. What's our real eighth place? It's still could be Our real eighth place is still Butterball with 28. All right, congratulations, Butterball. We have a tie for seventh and sixth. Well, sixth place then. We have a tie for sixth place between Yellow Days with mm -hmm. 33 and Loch Ness also with 33. I, Loch Ness, for a while, I thought they might win due to their size. Yeah. But this is the tiebreaker, by the way. They didn't know that. Oh. I just told them now halfway through the race. Yellow Days. Yellow Days is going to get that officially. Technically, Yellow Days is in the second. I don't know because of the way they're lined up. <laughs> Let me go flip those because that would be confusing. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Next. All right. Fifth place, we've got Force Field with 38 points. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, Force Field was... Is People are starting to watch him. I heard he's mm -hmm. he's currently in a sponsorship for um, Chevron, I believe. Oh, Chevron! Wow, Go, going with something from the 1970s. Uh, Florida weather. We've got uh, next with 46 points. Man, my, I, I was kind of hoping Florida weather would win. No, that means though we do not have a repeat winner. Yes, it is that big of a deal. All right, we've got um, what you've been calling Atlantis Rising the entire day, but I have written down as Rise of Atlantis with 49 points. Well, let's check with the stable manager. Is it Rise of Atlantis or Atlantis Rising? It is Rise of Atlantis. All, All right, right, never mind. Well, apparently that name confusion didn't cost him too badly. Then we've got... Oh, uh, hang on. So now we have first and second. Tell me the point difference. Honestly, the point differential is pretty um, pretty substantial. It is, I believe, 18 points, if my math is correct, which is certainly suspect. But I believe it's an 18-point spread between our second place, uh, Montana Marvel with 54, and coming in huge... Here towards the end, although a consistent racer throughout, Ice Ice Baby with 72 points. Wow, Ice Ice Baby, this is Ice Ice Baby's first win. They are now the fifth winner in our team of winners. Ice Ice Baby has been with us since the beginning. Congratulations to all the marbles. Congratulations, what an impressive show. I actually believe showing. I have an applause button I can click here. Oh. Oh. Yes. And a glockenspiel. The crowd and is going horn. wild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, folks, if you want to be involved in this, email me at tom at dicetower.com, and you too can send in the Marvel to be in. At some point, we may have to shorten the Marvel introduction video, <laughs> but hey, we still finish within an hour. Thanks so much for watching us live here. We have more live stuff. Come back tomorrow, crowd surfing, and we got all kinds of videos going up today. Another Vassal family review going up today of uh, Almanac. So, and more stuff on your way. And also, Mike would want me to mention, we have a Dice Tower unboxing channel oh, every we day. Do. We do indeed, Tom. We unbox a game. Mike has unboxed more games than <laughs> almost any other human alive. I believe that's factually correct, Tom. That is factually yes. correct. All righty. Well, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I am Mike Delicio. And we'll see you next time.